So Dennis, well played. And how much do you look forward to playing Felix in the next round? Yeah, I mean, uh, very happy to get the win today. Obviously, Bernard's a really tough opponent. Uh, you know, if I let him into the match there in the second set, then uh, I would have been there for, for a while. So I'm really happy to, to close it out in straights. And uh, for sure, excited to, to play Felix. Um, you know, but it, for me, it's just like any other match, just kind of getting ready the same. And uh, it's just, just the next round for me, obviously, you know. Sooner or later, you're going to run into Canadians in the draw. So for sure, it's, uh, you know, Canadians never want to play Canadians. But uh, in the end, we it happens so often that we kind of just treat it the same way. Matt? Yeah. How you doing? Nice win yeah. today. Um, so you, did you spend most of the last year uh, during the quarantine, or during the time off in the Bahamas at home? No, I was in Florida. You're in Florida. OK. Yeah. And do you, I mean, I, Obviously, there's restrictions in Canada. Do you still go back there? No, no. I haven't been since February. Oh, you haven't been there no. at all. Would you like to? I mean, is it is this, is this, is this do the restrictions in the border rules? No, new, I mean, I it, get, obviously, I would like to go to Canada. Yeah. Um, my friends are there. You know, some of my family lives there. So, for sure, I want to go. But uh, with two weeks quarantine, it's just uh, it's it's impossible to to be back right now. So, what, so will you go to Fort? Will you spend? I don't know. Man. <laughs> I honestly have no idea where I'm going after this. Really? Um, I'm, you know, plan to play Rotterdam, so, you know, we'll we'll see where where I prepare. What is that like to not know where you're not know where you're going after this? Not it's it's the world nowadays, but uh, honestly, I just feel lucky to to have a chance to play, to be under these circumstances in Australia where it's just like normal life. So it's uh it's really nice to to be here. I'm not uh, I'm not too concerned. I'm sure. Uh, Sure, I'll figure it out when uh, when the time comes. But uh, it's it's just it's the world nowadays. You know, everything closes and opens. So it's uh, yeah, of course, it's not easy. But uh, I'm really sure we have it much better than uh, some some other people in the world right now. So. Do you recall your first match with Felix? When you were eight, he he said something about playing when you were nine years old. Yeah, we played. Eight. I think under 12 or something nationals. Um, I don't remember that match, but he said I beat him. Oh no, so. <laughs> but I, I honestly don't remember that much. But uh, honestly, we we played so many times, so that it kind of like starts to blur together. Thanks. You okay? Yeah. To those of you online, if you have a question for Dennis, please raise your hand now. Okay, Thomas, please ask your question. Yes, Dennis, we know you love doubles a lot and you've played plenty of games with Rohan Bopana, a fabulous player from India. But do you get any advice from Daniel Nestor, who's won 91 titles in doubles for Canada? Yeah. I mean, I do when uh, when he's around, but uh, <laughs> um, for sure, Davis Cop and uh, and in, in the past years and when I play with him, for sure, he, he's given me tips, but... Uh, no, I, I mean, I wouldn't say that, uh, you know, that he's just uh, giving me doubles tips. But honestly, for, for me, I mainly play doubles for, for fun. So it's not about, uh, you know, really, really getting tips and stuff. Uh, you know, probably more I get from Rohan just playing with him so much. He's taught me how, what to do, how to play doubles really well. So I feel like uh, Rohan's been uh, a really, really big mentor for me. OK, Jackie, next question, please. Hey, Dan. Yes. Um, I was just curious, what was going through your mind during that second set with those first three games all went to at least like 19, 20, 23 points? What was kind of going through your mind through all that? Mm, I mean, nothing. I was just taking it one point at a time. Um, obviously, I wasn't I knew the games were long, but I wasn't trying to focus on um, like, you know, how, how long they were. I was just trying to to break or on my serve I was trying to to hold you know and uh, just focusing on on the next point so um you know that's that's tennis it's uh that's what makes the sport interesting you know it could be could be really quick games if if you're Daniel Medvedev and serves four aces but uh could be also long if you're if you're you know Dennis or, or Bernard today <laughs> thank you Dennis thank you for your time that concludes thanks, our press conference thank you